first step for a tastiest and crispiest chicken tender is the chicken itself marinated in yogurt and salt. I cut the chicken in thin strips and I'm using the chicken breast. You can use the chicken thighs if you would like to. I prefer chicken breast for this recipe and I put a big spoon of yogurt and salt in these chicken strips and stuck them in my refrigerator. You can do this marination for about 6 hours, 2 hours or even overnight. The more it sits in the refrigerator the better it is. So, the idea why I put yogurt in all my chicken um, the idea of why I put yogurt in all my chicken marination is that yogurt is a tenderizer, meat tenderizer. It keeps the meat moist. Breast tends to get dry, so this is a great way to keep it moist. Then it takes care of any kind of smells that come with raw chicken. So this is the best foundation for the crispiest and tenderest chicken tenders. In this vehicle, I have a very few items here. Number one is two big uh, tablespoons of potato starch. If you don't have potato starch, you can use uh, corn flour. The potato starch gives that extra crispiness to the chicken. So make sure if you can find it, you can use that. The in goes all my spices, starting first with uh, salt. I already had put salt in my marination, so I'm going to go a little lighter on it. The second one is a tablespoon or a teaspoon of um, paprika. Paprika is mild and it's not very spicy and my husband doesn't like spicy food so I'm sticking with paprika but if you prefer spicy food you can definitely look at adding some fiery cayenne pepper or pepper powders. The second one is very Indian uh, spice it's coriander powder I'm going to put half a teaspoon of it. The next is ginger, again a very Indian, South Indian uh, warm spice. So I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of it. The next is cumin powder. Cumin is used in Greek cuisine as well very much, as well as in Indian cuisine. So again, uh, half a teaspoon of that. I love all of these spices. Last but not the least, I have granulated, granulated uh, garlic here, uh, I'm taking half a teaspoon of that and then finally let's put some pepper. I believe this is a good mixture right here. Let's give it a quick mix to see this is the base for the chicken tenders. Mix it thoroughly. This already smells and looks wonderful and ready to go into my frying pan. Let me get this batter right over here. And in the meanwhile, my oil is hot and it's getting ready. I have already turned on my gas here. And then I'm going to spread a layer of panko breadcrumbs on my board. Spread it in evenly here. Great. Let me get my gloves. Take each strip one by one. Line them up. It's ready to go in. I'm going to now test if, the, if my oil is hot enough. It 
they used to be sizzling so let's see here wow that seems to be ready to go let's slide them one by one Gently, without splattering hot oil on yourself. I just turn this around to my side just to make sure that they are evenly cooked and turn everybody around once. recipes and it's always fail proof. I'm telling you little kids love it but big kids love it even more. Looks like my chicken tenders are almost getting there. Some of them are more done than the others so I'm going to take them out. They went into the oil earlier. And I'm going to line them up on the grill on the top of this frying pan here. I thought it was a great idea when I bought this pan because it allowed all these fried stuff to dip their oil and still continue to cook and get crispy. I think these guys have a little more time to stay here. They don't look. They need a little more color. So let's wait. If you enjoy my video, Please subscribe, then press the bell button to receive notifications when a new video arrives. Don't forget to click on that like button and share it with your friends and family. In my uh, crispy chicken recipe, there are no eggs. It's super simple. Very limited ingredients. If you don't have the spices that I put in the chicken, put salt, pepper and paprika and that should be it. It's a very forgiving recipe and comes out crispy every time. Without fail. guys this is the best alternative for game night or cricket uh, on, on the day of cricket or baseball uh, so everyone loves it it makes you thirsty you drink more beer it's amazing let me get some tater tots in this is a uniquely american phenomena Something similar to uh, French fries made of uh, potatoes. I'm going to gently slide them in.
for the rain. And just the right food for the rain. Potato tots are also ready. Let me just line. Let me just line them up here. Serve my uh, crispy chicken tenders. Some mustard and some hot sauce for me and some ketchup for Yanis. I'll serve my tater tots here. I'll get all my extra chicken tenders here on the side in case you want some additional serving. Man, this is the ideal rainy day Saturday night for watching a movie on the sofa, huddled on the sofa. My Saturday night snacks are ready and they look awesome. Let me also bring my tots here. Go right into it. Mm, look at this, how crispy and tender it is. Mm. Wow! <laughs> oh, really, really good. Guys, follow this recipe. Your entire family is going to fall in love with you. And especially if you have young, or in my case, or the children, you will, you will win their heart. Now, let me check how my tater tots are doing. Of course, I, I bought them store bought. Mm. Crispy. The taste of potatoes. My goodness, let me test it a little bit with that. The crunchiness of the bread comes and on the top comes through the soft tender chicken inside which is marinated with the goodness of yogurt all those beautiful spices makes it a unique experience you will never get a crispy and a delicious chicken tender anywhere else in the world I can guarantee you that
Thank you.